The Valve Steam Deck is the most versatile gaming handheld PC ever invented. Well, I think so at least. I love my Steam Deck, but there's so much more this machine can do than just play games on Steam. Let's go over the top 10 things the Steam Deck can do that you might not know about. The Steam Deck comes preloaded with Valve's Linux operating system, SteamOS, which was a great choice for the Steam Deck. But being Linux, it has its limitations when it comes to playing every single game especially any games with anti-cheat. So outside of Apex Legends, you can forget playing anything with anti-cheat. But Good Guys Valve provided drivers so you can install Windows 11 on your Steam Deck and be able to play games just like you would on a normal PC. And while there is still some work to do in that era, playing most games on Windows 11 is just fine. You don't have to give up your handheld SteamOS to get this. You can dual boot both operating systems on your Steam Deck to get the best of both worlds. Xbox Game Pass is an amazing value provided from Microsoft with hundreds of games to play on PC, Xbox, and Cloud but they have yet to have any kind of integration with Steam. So playing on your Steam Deck natively is difficult unless you're on Windows 11. But if you don't have Windows 11, you can still play Game Pass games via cloud on your Steam Deck. Microsoft even provides easy to follow instructions to do this. I went from having no idea what to do to playing high on life on cloud gaming within five minutes on my Steam Deck. This is especially great if you only have the 64 gig variant and don't want to buy an SD card yet, as cloud gaming doesn't take up any space in your storage. It's an amazing experience, and if you're subscribed to Xbox Game Pass, I highly suggest it. Okay, Jason, but what if I don't want to install Windows 11? I want to play all my games on Epic Game Store or Battle.net. Sure, no problem. There was a few different ways to do this, but the easiest way is probably just to install Heroic Games Launcher, which is an open source way to access your games on GOG and Epic Games natively on Steam Deck without Windows. It has built-in compatibility controls to help make sure your gaming experience is as good as it can get. Battle.net games can be ran through Proton, which is Steam's in-house compatibility layer that helps you play Windows games on Linux, then play it through the normal SteamOS handheld mode. I was able to play World of Warcraft Classic with no problem, and it only took a few minutes to set up. If I didn't mention your favorite game launcher in this section, there is most likely a workaround to get it working. Just Google whatever you need. And while the Steam Deck is obviously a great handheld console, sometimes you just want to sit at a desk with a mouse and keyboard and play with the boys. And the Steam Deck is totally able to emulate that. With as little as $15 worth of docking equipment, you can plug in your own personal mouse, keyboard, headset, controllers, and monitor to play your Steam Deck as if it was a normal desktop PC, even with wireless peripherals. I've had no issues when it comes to compatibility and everything just kind of works. At a recent LAN party I attended, someone brought a Steam Deck to act as their main rig during the event, and at the end of the weekend, some people didn't even realize he wasn't playing on a full fat desktop PC. If you're interested in which docking equipment I recommend, as well as other accessories to buy for your Steam Deck, check out my video here where I go over all the best bargain equipment I have found. If you ever need to use your Steam Deck as a normal computer and not a gaming device, SteamOS offers a desktop mode that just gives you a basic Linux desktop, complete with internet browsers and any other app you need like Discord, word processors, spreadsheets, and even editing software. I mean, the Steam Deck is just a Linux computer at the end of the day. In a pinch, you can use your Steam Deck as a great tool for school if your laptop or iPad gets broken or left behind. Or you can be like me and replace your PC entirely with a Steam Deck. So I just took the Steam Deck into a Starbucks to try to work on some writing and some scripts and stuff. Um, it was humiliating. Uh, I gotta admit, I, I saw people next to me sitting with MacBooks and laptops, and at first I wasn't self-conscious. Um, but then these two guys in the suits literally started pointing and laughing at me, so, um, yeah. Take care of your battery! Everyone knows that you aren't supposed to fully charge devices like your phone or gaming devices, and you aren't supposed to leave them plugged in forever, right? Well, Valve has confirmed that you're totally safe to plug in your Steam Deck to a power outlet and play to your heart's content, even if it's fully charged. According to the developers, once the Steam Deck is fully charged and being played while plugged in, it will switch from using the battery entirely and will run from the power coming from the wall, preventing any chance of damaging your battery while playing in dock mode over time. The Steam Deck doesn't play only PC games really well. It can pretty much play most console games too. Okay, it won't be able to play PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X games, but if you are looking to play PlayStation 3, Wii U, or even Nintendo Switch, you'll have a great experience playing all of these and every retro console ever on your Steam Deck. Instead of going out and downloading every single emulator individually, you can install something called EmuDeck, which is a free software designed specifically for the Steam Deck to download, install, update, and configure hundreds of emulators for you all within a single simple software. 
Once you move your ROMs over to your Steam Deck, Emmy Deck will also grab metadata for all of your games so they are neatly organized into SteamOS and readily available to be played on the fly. Seriously, give Emmy Deck a look even if you don't play console games that often, because they haven't put a lot of work into the software and it's one of the best fan softwares I've ever seen, and it works flawlessly. Emmy Deck allows you to play Nintendo Switch games on your Steam Deck at a higher resolution and frame rate than an actual handheld Switch. Ouch. That is so stupid. While looking at your Steam library on the deck, you'll probably see the Great On Deck list is much smaller than your actual full library. These are games that have been hand tested by Valve employees and have been found to have 100% compatibility on the Steam Deck from launching, playing, and using every aspect of the game. But just because something isn't on this list doesn't necessarily mean you can't play the game on your Steam Deck. Some games have just not been tested by Valve and they work perfectly fine, but they're on the back burner because they aren't as popular. Be sure to Google or YouTube the game you want to play, plus the word Steam Deck, to get everyone else's experience with trying to play that game. And even if Valve says a game won't work on the Steam Deck... I'm glad you brought that up. Because Mr. Reynolds... Valve... ...is a liar sometimes. Oh boy. Many times I've played games that said they won't work at all, and they turned out to work perfectly fine. The only reason I can think this would happen is there might be certain aspects of the game that does not have a full compatibility on a handheld PC. TLDR, check Google for every game you want to play and see what other people have experienced. Valve has gone out of their way to make sure that your Steam Deck is your own. You are free to repair and replace any parts of it without having to go directly through Valve. They even partnered with iFixit to help provide guides to end users on how to repair their own device. In a world where the right to repair is literally a controversial law being bounced around in Congress, it's really amazing that Valve took this stance on what is considered to be their most successful hardware release to date. If you want to upgrade your joysticks, uh, increase to a bigger SSD size, or even replace a noisy fan in your machine, you are free to do so. And it's fairly easy to do, even for people who aren't as comfortable opening electronics. A more expensive SSD or SD card is generally speaking not worth the extra cost. Running an operating system on a desktop PC and moving large files is one thing, but on a Steam Deck where you will mostly be playing games, you only need to load the game once, and after that, the difference between SSD, a standard SD card, or a super expensive SD card is all within a few seconds of each other. So paying extra to get back a few seconds per game isn't really worth it to most people. I'll drop a link to a video going more in depth into this and testing every storage speed to show you the real world experience. Did I miss anything you believe new Steam Deck owners should be aware of? Drop a comment below and let everyone know. My name is Jason. Thanks for watching. Get subscribed.